Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to introduce a model which is called as Erika Flash 3. There are a couple of interesting things about this model. First and foremost, I covered this model more than a year ago when they released its first version. As you can see on the channel, I'm sure that even the company has forgotten all about it, but we haven't forgotten. So I'm quite excited to see the Flash 3 version now of this Rika model and this comes with a reasoning. That is another cool thing about it. But the thing which really excited me that they were quite honest about releasing these benchmarks where they compared it with Quen with uh, questions or QWQ 32 billion parameter model. And if you look at these benchmarks, they look quite representative and honest. Now, this model, the Rika Flash 3 is just 21 billion parameter model, whereas the QWQ model is 32 billion parameter. And we have covered the QWQ a lot on the channel. And you know that this is one of the most performant models out there among few others. So that is why I'm quite um, thrilled to see that they have compared and shown the benchmarks with this QWQ model. If you look at these benchmarks, they cover coding, they cover general knowledge, such as GPQA, which is to solve mathematical problems and human avail to generate human-like code in various programming languages. Then we have this ME24 and ME25, which is from uh, American Invitational Mathematics Examination to evaluate mathematical reasoning. And then we have few others like BFCL for uh, tool use and MMLU for and general knowledge in mathematical concepts, especially in algebra and calculus. So they are covering a lot of domains there. And in all of the domains, the performance of Rika Flash 3 is quite good. And for example, in GPQA, it is just touch behind QWQ. Whereas if you look here, they have uh, it is it has performed quite well if you compare it to QWQ in various mathematical ones. Uh, for example, look at BFCL in tool use, it is quite good. Look at the, um, for example, this human eval, not bad at all. So OpenAI's model is also there, which is performing well as always. But I think Rika Flash 3 with just 21 billion parameter, it is quite interesting. Now, other information about this model is that, I, as I said, this is just a 21 billion parameter model. It is compact, it is general purpose that excels at general chat coding, instruction following and tool user function calling. And we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. So let me start the installation and then when it is downloading, I will talk a bit more about it. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50% on range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA A100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. Let me quickly create the virtual environment with Conda. This is going to download and install fairly quickly. Let's install all the prerequisites which include torch and transformers and I'm installing it from the source. Let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long now. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so now let's download the model and its tokenizer with transformers. And the model is being downloaded. There are five shards of it and I believe its size is just around 42, 43 gig of disk space. So make sure that if you are following along, you have that much disk space. So while it downloads, let's talk a bit more about this model and its training because that seems quite an interesting bit which they have shared. So this model was pre-trained from scratch on a diverse set of publicly accessible and synthetic data sets. What they did, they instruction tuned the base model on 
curated high quality data to optimize its performance and then in the final stage they performed reinforcement learning now when we say reinforcement learning all it means that where a model learns to take actions to maximize the reward of achieve to a uh, goal through trial and error interactions with the environment so but they performed reinforcement reinforcement learning with reinforce leave one out or rl00 using both model based and rule based rewards to improve the capabilities they focused on general improvements in their reinforcement learning state as opposed to a specialized model for math or coding and the version they have released has got 32000 context length which is quite good and they also have some sort of i guess uh, commercial side of things where they are using this rika flash 3 as a foundational model and they have even open sourced it so which is pretty good i would say and licenses apache 2 so hats off to them anyway let's see how this model performs once it's downloaded so i'll just wait for it to get downloaded and the model is now downloaded as you can see let's try to do the inference now for the inference it's a very standard inference where i am giving it a prompt it's a logical question with some of the philosophical thoughts that will human ever achieve the knowledge of an ai once human can integrate chips into their brain how it will feel being a human at that point so i am encoding the text with the tokenizer we are applying the chat template beforehand and then model is generating the output we are decoding it back with the tokenizer and printing it out let's run it and there you go model has come back with the response so there is a human and then it has started thinking so if you have seen my videos with other reasoning models that is what they do they first try to understand the context of the model and then they slice it tie it they self reflect on that question they produce an answer they double check that answer and then they give us the final one so see it is just trying to understand the question first and then it is breaking it down that starting with first question and then the second part and then it is saying that needs to consider uh, existing examples which is quite good like current bci with neural link that's a new then it is checking another angle it is reflecting on its answer and then this is where it is doing a structured exploration so this is what they also mentioned that once the model thinks it also does the structured exploration then there you go so will human achieve a level knowledge and then it is going through every question every part every angle in a very very structured way and then it has concluded the answer humanity's integration with ai chips could lead to augmented cognition surpassing raw knowledge metric but altering what it means to be human so pretty good answer now not only look at the answer if it is correct or not or also check the coherent language and it is quite coherent it makes sense it's not just uh, producing gibberish here and it is also because some of the reasoning models even deep seek r1 just sometimes just produces chinese uh, which is not relevant to the question or it just produces uh, gibberish in english but this uh, but i think they have improved the reinforcement learning a lot and this has looks quite good to me so pretty happy with the answer i would say next up let's check out this one so i am asking it what does ya na mean in australian slang when used as a response to a question is it yes or no let's see if you are in australia and i'm sure you know about this okay so while it produces the answer let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming around one uh, just 41 gig of vram so that is how much you need in order to run this model in full locally so and it takes its sweet time like a minute or so in order to come back with the answer so let's wait for it so in the previous answer it showed us that the language was quite good and this is sort of a general knowledge and then it is talking about again understanding the question that i need to figure out this and then australians have a lot of unique slangs that is true and then i have heard people yeah na in responses where they are kind of agreeing but maybe hedging their answer and then i should break it down yeah is yes na is no so combining them could be like saying yes no but that doesn't make sense that's true then it is you see it is doing the reasoning it is going through it 
and then indecision tentative vagueness talking about it uh, it uh, so it says yeah na strictly yes or no it is a playful ambiguous way to hedge your award commitment that is actually quite uh, true and because i have just i'm just producing uh, 15 12 so it has curtailed it, its answer maybe i'll also increase it for the next one but look spot on answer i would say and the way it has approached it quite impressive okay let's try out a mathematical one so this is a trigonometry question which i'm asking it let's see if it is able to do that the benchmarks which i showed you earlier showed that it performs really well on math so let's check out this trigonometry one and i'm hoping that it is going to use the pythagorean theorem because that is the best and optimal way to solve this but let's see how it goes and then we will check out the answer i already have it and it has come back with the answer so again it is doing some um, reasoning logical thinking it is self-reflecting checking and there you go so pythagorean identity is there so it is in the right direction it already has got it right by the way good stuff so i'm just going down to make sure it has done it right yep so it has done it right so math is really looks really good let's ask it one more complex math question from topology so i'm asking you to prove me that mobius strip is a non-orientable thing so let's wait and there you go so i can already tell that the answer is pretty good because i have done this with a lot of models and if you quickly read through it it is approaching it in the right direction it is trying to understand what is mobius strip and then it says that i need a more rigorous proof and then it is just thinking about coordinates parameterization and then it is constructing it and then cross product homeomorphic to the real projective plane so this is another approach it is taking so you see it is going towards different alternatives and then from different angles and then it has produced the final answer so it is it is saying it is non-orientable because it possesses a half twist that reverses orientation that's pretty good so look i believe pretty good answer and i would just give it a flying color mark for this one okay and it prints a lot of information by the way anyway let's try a coding one i have a feeling it is going to also pass it with flying colors but anyway so i'm asking it to convert this code chunk into python and also identify the language of the code so what do you think which language is that so it's not a new language it's a very old Perl language okay so i think i gave it away here so it's a Perl language let's see if it understands Perl and if it can convert it into python and that's a real use case a lot of mainframes a lot of older uh, servers solaris and all that uh, are still running a lot of Perl scripts and people are looking to upgrade them so let's see because Perl developers were in high high demand very very well paid now i think if these models can do that their jobs are really in under threat okay let's wait for it to print the response okay there you go so you see it has converted it into python so this is the actual one and then it is going down it is doing the reasoning and it has identified that this is a Perl code pretty good and then it is understanding the code first as what is what exactly is happening and then it is putting it all together this is a python code it is just taking the output and then it has created this code where it is doing some file management it is reviewing the code generated and then it is coming up with alternative code chunks and then it has given us the actual python code which you can see here which looks spot on and then it is also telling us about the key differences so look i believe fabulous work by rika flash 3 come a long long way from here i can tell you and you if you're interested just watch that video uh, from more than one year ago and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching